The nth term is any particular term you want to find. So if you want to find the 97th term, we would use a formula like this. The nth term just means any random term you want to find. So if there is a uh, common difference, we can use a formula, meaning if we know the first term and we know how much they're changing by, we could find the 97th term by using this formula. You'd plug 97 in here and solve. And let's say the difference is 5. You'd have 97 minus 1, which is 96. You'd multiply that by 5 and add it to the first, different, uh, the first term, and you'll be able to find the 97th term. This is an explicit formula. What it means is it can find any term at any time. So here, it says use the explicit formula, that's what you just saw, and the recursive formula. And the recursive formula means you just simply add the from the previous term to get the next term for the nth term. So the recursive is the easiest to find. Okay, so let me show you how the recursive works. And here's how the recursive works. You always list what the first term is. So in this case, you'd say a sub 1 equals and if we look at the sequence, it's 14. Well, after you list that, you change, you list how each term is changing. So you would say, what we do is, well, let's find out what we do. It looks like this is subtracted by 11. And let's check this one. If I have $3, but now I, I owe someone 8, what happened? Well, I took the 3, and I needed to be subtracted even uh, 8 more. So it would be, yep, minus 11. So here, my common difference is negative 11. So what you'd say over here is you'd say to find any term, you take the previous term. And so to say previous term, it's n minus 1. That means the previous term to this. And then what would you do? You would subtract 11 from it. That's the recursive formula. Now to find your explicit formula, you use that formula that we just got right here. So you would say a sub n would equal a sub 1. Now a sub 1 is what in this case? It's 14. So I'm not going to put a sub 1 there. You put 14. And then you add n minus 1 times the difference, which in this case is negative 11. Now some people leave it like this, but that's truthfully not simplified math. So I'll simplify it real quick. So you'd have 14 plus we need to distribute this. So when I distribute that, it actually is not, no longer a plus. It's now a minus 11n. And then I'd have a negative 1 times a negative 11, which becomes a positive 11. One more time, I go to simplify, combining my like terms. I would have 25 minus 11n. This is my formula for uh, explicit. If I want to find any term, the 25th term, I would plug in a 25n for n, and I would get the amount. And this would be my recursive formula up here. So let's look at the instructions, find both the explicit, there it is, and recursive formula. And so we did everything that's required of us. Now you try to find it for this sequence.